Greetings, uh, Sat Karu. Uh, my name is Kurt Sutter. I'm a writer, producer. Uh, I guess the most apropos piece of work I've created would be Sons of Anarchy. Um, I, I can remember the first time I rode a motorcycle. I was in my early 20s. I specifically remember that moment when fear was overtaken by freedom. That the realization that, oh my God, there's nothing between me and the world at this speed suddenly became a sense of empowerment rather than danger. So my question is, um, did you also have that kind of experience the first time you rode a motorcycle? And if so, when? And could you describe it? I'm Scott, I'm Kurt. Ah, wonderful to hear about your motorcycle experiences, but uh, <laughs> about when did I start riding? Well, I started riding when I was 11. <laughs> Uh, those days uh, we were riding scooters, but uh, after I became 18 and got a license, <laughs> I started riding motorcycles. Well, uh, uh, I don't ride motorcycles for freedom because I don't have an issue with that aspect of life, nor to transcend or overcome fear. For me, when I was young, it was the most sensible way to see the world around me. So I crisscrossed India on my motorcycle, literally lived on a motorcycle for four and a half years. Since then, I have not been in touch with this, but in the last three years I've been riding. This trip, uh, <laughs> I got onto the motorcycle because, uh, you know, Native American culture is a oral culture. Nothing written down, no scriptures, no archaeological sites, largely it's supposed to be blowing in the wind. <laughs> so I thought the best way to confront wind is uh, to be on a motorcycle. For me, the wonderful thing about being on two wheels is uh, mm, for hours on end, you know, even now on this trip we are sometimes riding over 12 to 14 hours a day and sometimes through the night. Two wheels will not allow you to be inattentive even for a moment. I see human attention as the key to all the wonderful things that a human being can experience. If you want to know the profoundness of life, keenness of attention is vital and the uh, motorcycle demands it and gets it. If I have lived to be this old riding, <laughs> that means I must be attentive. So, this sense of, uh, you know, relentless attention that it demands is my thing. I'm not somebody who experiences adrenaline, as people say, as speed happens. Uh, for me, as I get faster, as I, you know, put myself to a little more danger, I become very calm, very, very cool. <laughs> That's how I work. So, uh, as the riding becomes more uh, adventurous, as I do more speed or more whatever else which puts me to danger, I become very calm and very, very cool. I don't really experience rushes of uh, adrenaline, but uh, that sense of stillness within me, which has kept me alive for a long time, keeps me going even now. It's my wish that you must experience this and everybody must experience this, this sense of absolute stillness when you are in uh, rapid motion is a wonderful thing and uh, in th that is the basis 
of profoundness of experience in human life. So, Kurt, maybe we'll ride together one day. <laughs> All right. <laughs>